Hey guys, it's Akinia here. Welcome back to Cook, Serve, Delicious. So I have been playing a little bit in kind of my off time and I'm just going to show you what I've done because I, I did earn quite a bit of money and I was just having a look at some things and I decided it was probably a good idea to upgrade some of my foods. So I upgraded, what did I upgrade? It's not telling me anymore, back. Um, I upgraded the lasagna. So it's now a $12 menu price and a two star item, which is really annoying because it means that it now has the option of having mince as well as no mince. So this is a meaty Roma lasagna, meaty Roma lasagna, not Roma. So instead of just doing pasta, sauce, cheese and parmesan, it's now pasta, sauce, meat, cheese, parmesan. And then the last one is just pasta, sauce, cheese, parmesan. So that's something to remember. I need to, every time I get a lasagna and I need to remember that I have to look at the name and see what I actually have to create, which the first two times I played with it, I completely forgot to do. So this is the normal one nice and easy but so that's one thing I changed the other thing I upgraded was the salad so now the salad has a $10 menu price and is two stars but it now comes with a thousand island dressing I think it was it's the only thing that's changed so probably not gonna show me that nope I want the thousand island dressing one that's not the Thousand Island dressing one. Can I actually change what I'm cooking with the control? Yeah. So Thousand Island is tea. And then everything else is those things. So I upgraded both of those. Cost me about 1000 something dollars. So it was a little bit not great. Um, I also went through another... Uh, inspection which I passed and we got a safe rating so that increased our buzz a little bit and we got this message from tower mail called do not be alarmed uh, your cooking skills are about to be challenged uh, I'm thinking someone who loves entertainment here at cook bets hacking your email client yada 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 I'll give you three tickets so I don't exactly know what that is but then I got a message from crazy Dave this morning um, saying that I can accept a bet and get a 25 perfect combo plus salads and ice cream on your active menu but I don't I don't know if I can do that uh, and also we now have five slots in our active menu so that's a thing um, I don't know okay um, but we're gonna start today we're gonna go back we're gonna go to the battle kitchen and do our weekly challenge. Uh, I'll be my person. Oh yeah, chill music. So we're gonna see how far we can get in the weekly challenge and hopefully improve on the last time, which may not happen. What? Do, green pepper, red pepper, green pepper, red pepper. Oh goodness. Butter and salt I can do. Uh, what's four? Oh goodness. Tomato sauce, cheese, pepperoni, sausage, bacon, goodness, olives, onions. No, oh no, I put tomatoes on there. I shouldn't have put tomatoes on there. <sighs> Something bad. We are losing rapidly. Um, tomato, meat, chicken, <laughs> green pepper, red pepper, tomato. Green pepper. Okay. Oh, goodness. four or five. We we are losing majorly. Why do I suck so much? Oh, cheese. That's easy. What do you want? Tomato, meat, chicken, tomato, green pepper, red pepper, green pepper, red pepper. Uh, six. One. Three. Tomato sauce and cheese. I can do that. One. Tomato sauce, cheese, pepperoni, sausage. I can do that. Eight. Tomato sauce, cheese, plus mushroom. You. 
on his onions. Goodness, two, four, four, three, one, two. Oh my goodness, numbers, so many numbers. T G R M K G R T. Bam. Salt and butter, I can do. Uh, eight, we need to send out. Seven. Tomato meat, chicken. Tomato green pepper, red pepper, green pepper, red pepper. Bam. What are you? Tomato sauce and cheese. Okay. That was much less time penalty than the last time. Which is always a good thing. But that still wasn't great. That wasn't great at all. But how did we go? Where are we on the leaderboard? Um. Whoops. No, go back. Where's, where's the current one? Can, can, why can I not go back? Well, that didn't help. Can I do it again? I don't want to. So, we're doing better than we have in the past. But, we're still not, not back. Thank you, leaderboards. Ooh. 456 perfect orders in a day. How is that even possible? Man. We, we need to do some, some improving. Let's just get straight into it. Start new day. We, I thought we were doing well with our 40 perfects in a day. None of this. Oh, why do we have so many chores? 400 perfects in a day. Seriously. Four. Pull. Boom. 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 Butter. Yes, sorry. Uh, so, we did pretty good while well, you guys weren't here when I was just playing by myself. Um, I set up one active menu that just had things that were fried. So pretty much just this all the time. And my top score on that one, I think I had 48 combos in a row. Well, 48 perfects and 47 combos in a row. Something like that. Which was great. I'm never going to be able to do that on camera. But I kind of proved to myself that I wasn't as stupid as I thought I was. Which is always a good thing. And we earned quite a bit of money. But not enough. Oh, I forgot we were going to buy the baked potato. Alright, that's going to be next. So it is definitely getting a little bit harder as we go on. It seems to be uh, a little more intense during the day. Uh, especially during rush hour. But then again, maybe I'm getting through things quicker, so people just keep showing up quicker. I don't know. But the safety inspections are really annoying. So the safety inspection lady shows up three times a day, and she stays for an hour each time. And when she's here, you have to get through the chores a lot quicker, and if you don't get through the chores, she fails you. So I missed three orders because stupid chores kept popping up, like, right in the middle of rush hour, which was, like, really inconvenient. Chicken greens, we want French and greens. What do you want? Chicken. How exciting. Okay. The chicken one is really easy. All you have to do is put it in and then click P and you're done. Which is great. What do you want? Nothing. Perfect. What do you want? Put it. 22 perfect combos. Oh, I, sh I didn't take the bet. I should have taken the bet. We would have won. Oh well. Too late for that now. Whoops. I just ruined my perfect combo. Silly me. But everyone has to have a like, nice chill to the music. Alright, chill over. Back to work, everybody. We have work to do. Oh, and I was also looking around um, in other areas of the game as well. And you can upgrade your toilet and your dishwashing machine and your garbage collection so that you get less of those things, which I think is pretty awesome. We might have a look at that 
in a minute because I am pretty sick of flushing these toilets. Though the toilet ones are really easy so maybe we should get rid of the garbage ones which take a little bit more time. Because the dishwashing is not that hard once you kind of know what you're doing. You just go back and forth on the arrow keys and you're set. Alright. Like the toilet one's so easy. It takes like two seconds. It would be no point upgrading that really. Uh, cheese, bacon, mushrooms, greens, onions, bam. Have a good day. Come back soon. Oh, that's so pretty. So pretty. Man. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Bam. Have a good night. We are getting good at that. I must say so. I really want to be able to upgrade the beer again. But, I didn't know this, but the beer, I keep, I keep saying beer. No, not beer. I keep saying but, 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 but. Um, the beer gives you negative rush because an establishment having alcohol is apparently a bad thing, according to the people. I don't know. So each time we play with the beer, we get negative buzz. So we need to have enough positive buzz to counteract the negative buzz that we keep getting from playing with the beer. Did that make sense to you? It should have, I think. I think what I said made sense. Who knows? Um, well, we need to start working on the trash. Because this one takes so long. This one's really annoying. Uh, I ruined my perfect thing, but at least I didn't miss the other water. Huh. That's good. We're not completely stuffing up in rush hour anymore. Which is good. We're not missing things. That's also good. I've had a few averages, but I'm okay with the averages. I just don't want to get bad. Three vanilla scoops coming right up. Have a nice day. Oh, that's such a pretty view outside the windows. Alright, next. Awesome, next toilet. What else have you got for me, game? Bring it on. Awkward silence. <laughs> this game is really fun. It's so much easier to play when you're not concentrating on talking, which, you know, makes sense. Talking uses brain power, brain power that I need to be able to perfectly do rush hour. But I'm getting better at doing both. I'm getting better at multitasking. Let me just stop saying that I'm getting better. I feel like that's kind of my most said phrase at this stage, which is kind of. Hmm. Pretty good. Happy. How does somebody get 400 perfect orders in a day? Ooh, we've got one more thing left to do before we become a one-star restaurant. I wonder what that means. A new item is now available. Weather alert. Boring. Tower peeps. All tenants an extra month to pay their rent due to a bad computer glitch. Everyone is in such a good mood today. Lovely. Catering. Oh, people can't make it down for lunch today, so we thought you could invest in catering equipment. What? Oh my goodness. Yeah, we need to change that out. What's this? Ooh, commercial toilet. So that's what I'm talking about. Equipment. So we have all of these basic, like, um, things that you need to buy to be able to sell food. Um, and then over here, we've got the commercial toilet. We have the dishwasher and we have the garbage service. So I think if I'm going to get one, it's probably going to be the garbage service. But I'm not going to worry about it just yet. We can also purchase pesticides, air conditioning, which help patients, and all of these other things. Like this one here, the enhanced security one's kind of worrying me because it says it cuts down the chance of war robberies. And I'm like, what? There's robberies in this game? What? Ooh. Okay. Um, what am I doing? Buying food. Bake potato. Purchase. Click to confirm. 
Okay. Oh, you know what? They probably sent me that weather alert because it tells you if it's going to rain or not. And some of them give you extra points if it's raining. That's so smart. I need to be reading those. All right, is everyone ready? Let's have a look at our buzz. Is our buzz okay? Um, yeah, whatever. Good enough. All right, let's go. Day two. I'm going to have a quick sip of drink first. All right, so the baked potato could be interesting. Not sure how it's gonna play in with its like strange structure. But uh, what was that, why? I don't know if I like the cooking first thing. It's a little bit strange, but I guess it's gonna be um, at rush hour is going to be when the big problems start happening. What's on your oh, Perfect. Well, I guess we'll see. We could do this perfectly in this round. Which would be really, really nice. Alright. Oh. I reckon this could be a pretty good game to live stream. I don't know if I've told you guys this, but I'm considering starting up a like weekend live stream so once a week instead of having a regular recorded video we'd do a live stream which I think could be pretty cool like it does require a little bit of organization and I'm trying to work out how my system works with streaming which is a long process you may have noticed that I have put um, a few things up up until this point that have been live streaming that just haven't worked for one reason or another um, one of those is you can't really hear me talking, but you can hear coughing. What am I doing? Placing in a bowl. Oh, cheese sour cream. So I'm trying to work it out. I've got it set at private now so I can play around with it a little bit. And it's going okay. There's a bit issues, a bit of issues with the upload of it at the moment because my internet's being stupid. So hopefully the internet will be upgraded soon, which will allow us to properly do a stream, which could be great. Oh, butter. But we shall see. Let me know if you would like to see a stream on for this channel and what time would be best for you and what games would you like to see on that. Whoops, I just missed the chore. Oh, I forgot sprinkles, whoops. Because uh, there's quite a few games that I wouldn't mind playing for a bit of a longer period, which I think the good thing about live streaming is that you get to play for a longer period of time. And if we eventually end up with um, a lot of people watching when the live stream is happening, we could do things like question and answer, like Q&As and things like that, which I think would be really nice. Like having some interactivity with this channel. Because I love hearing your guys' comments and, and replying when you guys comment on my videos and stuff. But it'd be nice to have to do that, like, in real time. I mean, that would just add, like, a little bit of pizzazz to the channel. Which would be pretty cool. Alright, how are we going? Four o'clock. What do we got now? Vanilla, chocolate, cherries, and sprinkles. Bam! See you, Grandpa. Nice having you at my place of work. I think the next episode that I'm going to do of this game in particular, I'm going to play around with it a lot more until it gets to a little bit faster pace. Because we're on, what, day 12 or something? And it goes pretty slow and there's a lot of time I'm just sitting here doing nothing. So I think I'm going to play around with it a bit, get to day 20 or something and see how it goes from there because I don't want you guys to get bored. Like, it's really fun to play this game, but it may be a bit boring to watch it. I don't, I don't know. Let me know what you think. 
Would you like me to continue doing what I'm doing right now with a couple more levels? Or would you like me to get to a higher spot and then continue? Oh, I didn't do chives, I did cheese instead. Whoops. Oh, I did onions. Whoops. Oh, we are losing miserably right now. And I was just saying how I was going to do some more practice and get to a higher level so we could play Parda. Well, that seems stupid now, doesn't it? There we go. <laughs> There we go, four. Bam, bam, ba -bam. Ticket number 631. Love how you know that. Does that mean in total I've served 632 people? Because that would be pretty cool. What do you want? Ranch, cheese, bacon. Perfect. What do you want? Ranch and cheese. Even easier than the last guy. 740. We're almost at the end. We did not get a good combo today. Oh, taking out the trash takes so long. Yeah, I think the next thing we're going to upgrade is the taking out the trash thing because I am sick of taking out the trash. It's so tedious. No, tedious is a bit of a strong word, I think. It's just annoying. Alright. Be off. We've got about an hour left until we close. I really like the art style of this game. I mean, just look how pretty that background is. Like, that's just amazing. Imagine if this was your place of work and you could sit here, serve customers all day, looking at that view. Wouldn't that be amazing? I would enjoy that. Uh, no, not the control button, the down button. Number 640. You are served. Alright, highest combo 17, not great. We missed one sure. We made $12 in tips. That's pretty decent. Alright, continue. We have six days left until we finish this. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play until about day 18 on my own. And when I come back, we will play day 19 and 20, get to a one star restaurant checklist, see what's happening and then continue on from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you're enjoying this cook, serve, delicious series thing that we've got going on. If you'd like to see more, please leave a like on the video down below. Other than that, have a great day. Keep smiling and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Show back some love.